Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel Moss Crossings. I'm Moss and obviously I didn't film an intro for this video because I was just too excited to get into the build, I guess. Also my outfit, I put this outfit on because I thought that I was going to be working on the fairy forest today. I was going to be working on Tia's house actually, but um, for some reason I just started doing this instead. I don't know, like I didn't plan this. It was like something else had control of me. I just was like, oh, it's time to work on the neighborhood now, even though that was not my plan. <laughs> so, and I ended up doing that for like three hours. Like I, I genuinely had about three hours of footage to edit here. So I hope that y'all enjoy this build. I'm going to be working on the town neighborhood. Going to be putting some houses on this uh, second tier of cliffs. I feel like in past videos, I've called the first tier of cliffs the second tier because it's like second to the ground level. <laughs> but now I've been calling the like second tier that I built, like on top of the first tier, the second tier, I don't know, this doesn't matter, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna be placing uh, Norma's and Audie's houses up on this second level of the neighborhood. And other than that, I'm just gonna be mostly redoing the yards that I had sort of done in the lower tier of the neighborhood. <laughs> um, so it's like, I, I made a speed build working on that stuff and now I'm just gonna completely um, demolish it and do something new and you're gonna see me go through several iterations of each villager yard uh, throughout this video because I was just having a really hard time uh, like hitting on something that I thought actually looked good and I kept changing my mind and rearranging stuff. This neighborhood I don't feel like I'm really decorating the villagers yards like specifically for that villager it's not so much like based on their personality or their aesthetic or anything it's more just like an overall kind of neighborhood theme. Whereas I feel like with my villagers who are living in the forest, I'm definitely giving them a lot more of their own area that has their own kind of vibe to it. And um, I've been really, I've been feeling really, really inspired to build recently. So I've been working a lot on the forest and the neighborhood. So I think my, my next video that I post is going to be a let's play, I want to say, but I also have another speed build that I'm in the process of editing right now, and you'll also be seeing that pretty soon. I have um, just some like wintry speed builds, either ones that I've already recorded or just ideas that I want to do in the winter, and I, I want to get those out kind of as fast as possible because I am going to be jumping forward to spring uh, later next month. I'm actually thinking about releasing a dream address for Fair Falls right before I do that so that if y'all want to, you can visit the incomplete island but see all of the winter builds in person because they're not going to really be there anymore after that. So let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in, if you would visit the incomplete dream address of Fair Falls to see the winter builds.
Look, y'all, I honestly thought that I was good at decorating small spaces, but this is really challenging, that belief right now. I I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I think part of it is just that I don't have a specific concept for any of these little yards, so I'm just kind of throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks. This is where I actually started to have a stronger concept for Rudy's yard, and this is Rudy's yard. Uh, Norma is going to be moved up to the next tier, and I think something else is going to go at the far right side of this little street. But for some reason, I just I was like, yep, Rudy is really into cooking. He's going to have an outdoor kitchen. He's going to be a chef man. And obviously, because he's a jock, I gave him the clothesline with the PE shirt. It's funny because later in the video, I actually go inside and visit Rudy in his house, and he's cooking and so I felt very I felt like my theory was proved and um, he's a little chef boy
In this video, I'm also going to be working quite a bit on the little neighborhood park over here. There's going to be a jungle gym here, and it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a little bit more colorful than it is now. I'm definitely getting a lot more comfortable with using a lot of color in my builds. And in the town, I think that manifests more in the more saturated colors and like reds and stuff like that. Whereas in the fairy woods, I'm using a lot of pastel colors and it's been really fun. I feel like I'm branching out of my comfort zone, um, which is, you know, like really natural kind of vibes, but I'm definitely getting it more into sort of aesthetics that I've never explored before. And it's really fun. Highly recommend.
that's where I'm going to be leaving off the build for today. I really hope that y'all enjoyed it, and if you did, uh, why not drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to, that would be nice. And yeah, I hope that y'all have a great day, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye!